Good, so fine job you did. Fine job. Okay. Dropbox. DIFC. Uh, workbook. Physics. Atoms. Uh, lesson two only. How many percent is the EAP final exam in the total? I have no idea. No idea! You need to ask an EAP teacher. I have no idea. Ask Colleen later. Okay, can you write this down? The radioactive decay equations. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Right. So, uh, if you're wondering, this is what a piece of uranium looks like. You can take it from the earth. Do you know what? Um, yeah, I think you'd have to check your periodic table. Yes, it's a metal. Pretty sure of it. Yeah. It's a metal. Um, you mine it from the earth, and it's radioactive. It's an example of it. Um, we learned that a radioactive isotope like uranium will decay. The energy is released via alpha, beta, and gamma. But how can we detect this radiation? So how can we measure this radiation? In fact, we have a problem. Alpha, beta, and gamma are colorless. That means no oh, color. Yeah. So you can't see it. Okay. It's odorless. What does that mean? Smell. Yeah. Can't smell it. Tasteless? No. Don't do this, but you can't taste it. Chemically inert. What does that mean? Do this word in chemistry? Chemically can, inert? Can, can be uh, uh, reactive. Can or can't? Can't. Can't? Can't. Spell. C A N N O T. Cannot. <laughs> Correct. Uh, no chemical reaction. But it's important we can measure radiation because it's dangerous. But how can we do this? If it's colourless, odorless, tasteless and chemically inert. How can we do this? Now, before I continue, it's important that you write this down, that alpha, beta, gamma, are, are they're colourless, odorless, tasteless and chemically inert. Which? So total. Colourless, odorless, tasteless and chemically inert for alpha, beta, gamma. Okay, yeah. you got those four. You know, you know this. Um, it's a problem. It's a problem. So, before we continue, we have to say what we're trying to measure, and we're trying to measure something called activity. Now, what is activity? It's the rate at which the unstable nuclei decay, which is disintegrations. Uh, so, just to be clear, I'll give you an example. What did we do yesterday? Let's, let's say, here's an example. Um, you see here in question 10, you said, 
uranium-238 from last class. Uranium-238 decays into lead and it releases 8 alpha, 6 beta, and a gamma. Okay? So, here you have one uranium, and here you have no uranium. It's turned into lead, which is, you know, stable. So, imagine uh, this happens 100 times in a second. So, you have 100 uranium, and they turn into 100 lead. You lost 100. We say that the activity is minus 100 uh, uh, nuclei per second. That you've lost a hundred of them. They've decayed. Okay. This is the idea for activity. It's how quickly you lose your radioactive isotope. She doesn't come in on Monday anymore. Yeah. Oh, you want to write this down? Sure. It's a, <laughs> it's a messy example, but okay. Yeah. So messy. Yeah? Okay. So, what are the units? The units is called uh, Bacurel, or BQ. And what is that? Well, that's quite simple. That's an SI unit, and one BQ just means one destruction of a nucleus in one second. So, for example, here, this would be A equals minus 100 BQ. Okay, so if we can write this down, this is your BQ. Curl. Message from Gao? No. Send her a message. Tell her, wake up.
Come to school. Stephen misses you. Was she sick? Was she up last night? Was she playing the new video game? And you know what's terrible? She only lives 10 minutes away. 10 minutes. Oh, go. All right, did you message her, Summer? Yeah. We'll see if she replies. Okay, continue. So, um, now, we use the letter A to represent activity, and the units are BQ. Example, five kilo BQ, and represents number of atoms. Now, sometimes with the A, I'm careless. Really, A is negative. But just like with acceleration, we can drop the minus if we use the right word. Okay? So, if I say acceleration is minus 6 meters per second squared, I don't need to write the minus if I use what word. What word can I say that means this, but I don't need to write minus? So what's the opposite of acceleration? Do you remember? Say again, yeah? Yeah, if I say deceleration, remember this word, deceleration? <sighs> acceleration yeah. equals, for example, minus 6. This is the same as deceleration equal to plus 6. Because of the D here, I don't need the minus. Acceleration is uh, the speed. Is that speed? No, 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 no. It's uh, how fast is the speed? Yes, it's the A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the so UV ATS. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I okay, know, okay, I know. okay, okay. So what? What's your question? So just an example. Just an example. So what I'm saying is the A should be less than zero. But sometimes I might write A is 6 BQ, when really I mean minus 6. And that's okay if I use the right word. Do you understand what I'm saying? I could say the activity is minus 6, or I could say my activity of decay is 6. Because I say the word decay, I mean lose. Decay and decay. Decay, deceleration, D minus. You get the idea? Yeah. Okay, good. Good! So, uh, calculating N is not too difficult. You learned how to do that in materials. PV equals NRT. You know this. So 12 grams of carbon will have an N of 6 times 10 to 23. Won't it? Yeah. 12 grams is one mole. Yeah. Okay, so how can we measure radiation? Uh, how can we measure activity? We can measure activity using this guy. This is called a Geiger-Muller counter. Have you ever heard of these? You maybe have seen them in movie or TV? Yeah. You, what sound does it make? <laughs> Not quite that. I wouldn't try to describe it as that. People already use this like yeah. in, in the ghost. No, really. To uh, catch the ghost. No. Yes. It's not used to catch ghosts. <laughs> but, but, but the, the war, warlocks use, use it to oh, so, in the scientific. Okay, let me see if I can play this. My sound isn't great. Let's try though. Let's try. See if I can play this. Out. Oh, here we go. Yeah. 
<laughs> if you have, have a ghost. No, not a ghost. Um, <laughs> so, it's a kind of a click sound. Yeah. Click, click, click sound. Yeah. Th let me explain how it works. Now, you need to draw this in a min minute. So, this is the Geiger Muller counter. Okay, so this piece here, okay, is this piece. And then this piece here is this piece. Okay? So what happens is you have some radiation, you know, your beta radiation. It doesn't really work on it doesn't really work on alpha. Uh, not really. Why doesn't it work for alpha? Well remember we said with alpha you can block it with a, a piece of paper. Yeah. So what you have what you have here is a very, very thin window, very fine window, okay, very small window, really thin. So the beta radiation can go in. So the beta hits this gas, or what is this gas? I forget. Um, um, he helium, is it? No, uh, I think I said on the next page, I can't remember. Oh, what gas is it? Maybe it's helium, or is it nitrogen? I don't remember. No, it's not helium. Argon, maybe. Yeah. Hi. Hey, yeah. who are you looking for? Me or them? All of them. Go ahead. There's so. There's been a scheduling error. Oh. And I'm about to take them off you, uh, because you're not meant to have them right now. I'm meant to have them. Ah, uh, that's good so for me. Because <laughs> um, I have all the students for chemistry. Ah, and, and they should be with that group now. Yes. Uh, physics and biology go together. So do I have them later today? No, probably not. So. Uh, I don't know, but yes. um, Connell has asked me to come over and um, bring them down then. Bring, bring them back. <laughs> okay, we'll continue with this next okay. time. So. Okay. Yep. Apologies um, for the inconvenience there. So this is Lorraine, the Geiger Mueller counter, or as I learned from the students, can be used to catch ghosts. Oh, very good. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Who's, who's ghost hunting here? <laughs> Summer. Yeah. Yeah. Summer suggested this as a ghost hunting. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Have you caught many ghosts with it, Summer? <laughs> no. Huh? I just saw it in the movie or games. Yeah. 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 It's very, very ghostbuster. Like, it is very, it? very ghostbuster like. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, um, you'll get very worried if you went into an old haunted house and things started to click. Yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't talked about the effects yet of too much radiation. Oh, yeah. All we've said so far is it's odorless, colorless, tasteless, and chemically inert. Yeah, so until it mutates your DNA. <laughs> until it kills you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. All right, guys, okay, so guys. we'll pick it up from here next time then, okay? Okay. Right. I don't... Th no, I don't have you later today because you have EAP after lunch. Yes. So I, I couldn't have you. Yeah. So I'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah.